All right, so we have moved the characters left and right. We are now about to start trying to jump around. We're going to be able to move. You cannot have a platformer while I'm jumping. I mean, you probably can, but the, the other platformers will make fun of it. Oh, by the way, in case like you guys think I'm not listening to feedback in the comments and everything, I pre-recorded all these videos. Like this, this is all made before I posted a single video on YouTube. So I'm mostly taking the feedback from my next series. So yeah, I'm trying to work on this craft. Like, like so, let me know like what you want for a tutorial series, something more advanced, maybe, uh, maybe something in 3D, uh, more artsy stuff. I can do pixel art, 2D art, 3D art, animations. I, I basically picked up all the skills when I was trying to be a one-man band over here. Yeah, so let me know what you want, what what I could do better. I'm open to constructive criticism. Don't just gouge out my feelings, please. But, uh, I mean, nah, you know, I do what you want. I have tough skin. Let's get back to the meat and potatoes here. Let's make something happen with Jump. Um, so let's do a, do a challenge. Let's see if you can make him go up by, let's use number 10 just to start off with and try it out. So, like, uh, if the space bar key is pressed, he'll go up by 10 units. You can pause the video here and try it out. Now remember guys, like those challenges are uber important to, to do and to try. Like I'm telling you, me telling you what to do and you hearing this, this might seem like learning. 95% or more of the learning is seriously happening during those challenges. If you do those challenges and you make that happen and you figure it out, I guarantee you that's the stuff that's going to stick with you and work. It's, it's really important and every job I've had that try to teach things that adult learning, I'm telling you, is doing. You want to do. Anyway, so I'm going to write it out what we're trying to do. If I push the space bar key, then we will move up, right? That's basically what jumping is. So if input dot get key. Now this is where things might be a little bit different than you thought. You want to put key down instead of just the regular key. I know you couldn't have known that. That's okay. You push get key down. It only sends the message once that the key went down until you push it down again. Okay. So you want to do key code and I think it's that space. Let's say I didn't know that at all. Like I had no idea. You can actually just scroll through here and you can find your keys. And if you have like any kind of inkling, which you should, because the name of the keys, like say I want to use insert, I push I N, there you go, insert's in there. Uh, say I see numlock on here, numlock, there you go. N U is all I typed in. I had no idea whether it was like N L K or anything, you know? Anyways, we're going to use space. Now, we did the if I push the space bar, that's what's happening there. We go down here, we get the curly brackets going, that means then, then we will move up. So, just like everything else, we're controlling it through the rigid body. This is not the only option, by the way, but this is how we're going to do it in this tutorial series. Um, we're going to want to change this velocity. And we're going to do a new vector 2, like usual. Now we want the speed horizontally to stay the same because the jump does not affect that, right? Okay, so we got to the point where we said new vector 2. I want you as a challenge to make it so the velocity on the horizontal plane stays the same and then we move up by 10 if you have not been able to already accomplish it. If you've already, you know, accomplished this, then go ahead and uh, stick around. But but if you have not accomplished it, especially if you use like just some like zero or something here in the X, you don't really want that. Take a note from up above us, you know, where we uh, kept the gravity working. So, welcome back. So we want this to say rb.velocity.x. By the way, if you get to the dot velocity and you don't know what's going on and you hit this dot, You'll see a bunch of stuff pop up. This is everything that's inside that that uh, object right there. And you can scroll down and you'll see Y and X are right there. And you'll see it says field and it's okay. You can use it if it's on here. So you hit that and X. And then you hit a comma to go to the float Y. You can see below us uh, that it actually shows us what we're using over there, right? In this vector two. And then we want this float to be the Y and we're wanting to move up. So it needs to be a positive number. Uh, we'll put down 10 here for now. We want to put the F here because this system will get confused at us sometimes randomly and we'll want to delete all these random words that don't matter. All right, so now when we push this by bar, we should be jumping. Jump. Woo! Jump. Woo! All right, and if I move right, jump. Woo! Where 
am I? I don't know. Oh, there I am. There we go. So now we have a jump function. We are at, we are an official uh, platforming territory here. We have gotten further than anticipated. So next we're going to work on uh, making the camera follow us a little bit here so that we no longer have the same problems that we're having right now where we can't see ourselves when we jump on the next platform. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Please leave some comments below and letting me know what you would like to see, what you'd like to be different. You know, like I said, tough skin over here, guys. Give me some feedback. Um, thank you for everything. I'll see you next time. Bye.